Hey, everybody. Sorry I'm a little bit late. Uh, there was some last-minute changes that I needed to make. Um, and it wasn't on me. No, no, it wasn't her, her. It was not her. All me. I'm an idiot. Um, it was all on me. Anyway, so today we'll be – actually, this whole month, we will be deviating from the norm. Um... Yvonne, would you like to talk about why? No. Okay. <laughs> um, it is uh, Black History Month, and because I'm an idiot, it snuck up on me. Um, <laughs> I'd been planning originally to do stuff, but I don't know. I'd forgotten, or time. I'm an idiot. It, let's just leave it at that. I'm an idiot. So it's Black History Month, everybody. Welcome to February. Um, we are officially in month two of 2021. That's a thing. Um, I need to turn myself down because on my phone because I am echoing in my ears and throwing my own self off. <laughs> um, anyway, hi, everybody. Um... So today we're going to, instead of playing Asa continuing Assassin's Creed 2, we're going to be playing Freedom Cry, which takes place a bit later in the series. However, because of the fact that it's uh, DLC and set up the way it is set up, it does not do much in the way of spoilers. Um, it, fo uh, like, it references some events from Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, af uh, after which this takes place, but not enough that it would be considered spoilers, um, as far as I remember. And it does not have to do anything with the overall storyline. Anyway, you'll also notice that I'm not alone today. Um, this, you, you may recognize Yvonne over here. If you don't recognize her, what are you doing with your lives? She is amazing. She is fantastic. <laughs> she is one of the best streamers on Twitch. Even though she has not got the recognition of that yet, but she is absolutely one of the best. Th this is this is just the next two hours. Me constantly gushing over how awesome Ivan is. As anyway, I mean, what? <laughs> I, as I should, because she is an absolute queen and deserves every ounce of appreciation and praise that she gets. Oh boy. <laughs> um. Ow. <laughs> I slammed my fist on my table on my desk hard enough that it hurt. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, uh, man. Anyway. <laughs> but yes, before we dive into this, let's, uh, let's take a second and drink my sorrows. <laughs> drink my shame. Uh, that's the one. Not sorrows. Shame. That's the word. Actually, it's hydrating, which is good for you. And everybody should take this quick moment yes thank you it, hydrating is important yes that is that is not alcohol that is water but yeah i promise i don't drink alcohol usually mainly because i'm lame <coughs> but anyway so um shit hold on what is going on with my Sorry, my. F uh, Yvonne, do you mind popping into the stream real quick and checking that it's all coming through? Because I don't know if it's my phone that's having issues or if it's the stream. I'm already in the stream. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Well, okay then. Then I guess it's just my phone being weird. Okay. Ooh, we have the queen. Speaking of queens. We have the act the Your other majesty. absolute queen. But yes, hello to the queen. Uh, thank you for joining us. And um, instead of giving me more of an opportunity to absolutely step in a bunch of bullshit, um, I'm just going to start the game. Uh, the queen says hello. <laughs> Starting a new game here in more than one sense. 
I said a derp. A jerk? A derp. D -E -R -T, oh, a derp. derp. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? I mean, I am, but why? What would I do this time? <laughs> So, keep in mind, I won't be seeing the game as live as you are, so... Oh, I could uh, stream it to Discord, too, if you would like to see to, it live. Then you'll have to reconfigure the cameras. Oh, true. You right. Okay, hold on. Actually, before we start that, let me... Okay, so... That does remind me, because I need to actually do some volume adjustment. Because um, that game is really loud, and I could barely hear you. Um, so let me... Volume mixer. Pop that down a bit. In my, actually, no, 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 no. That's not the one I want to change. This is what I want to change. Um, I think... Okay, so the way it's set up, okay, yeah, yeah, if I pop that down a bit, that should affect me and only me and nobody else. No, no, because then I won't be able, well, no, 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 I will be able to hear you, because that's right. Sorry, I have a complicated audio setup over here, and it's hard to remember what it all does at all times. Oh, uh, man. Oh, let me pop out the stream chat so I can actually see the damn thing. That probably would help. Um, and, yeah, I think, I think, okay, um, there was also, oops, 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 there we go, okay, um, so let's pop that back up and see how that sounds. Oh, that's not what I said to you. <sighs> Ubisoft, you play, you connect, that's what it is. Ubisoft Connect, that's their name now. Okay. Um, that's not, what is, <sighs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> back to the, back to the thing at hand. Okay, so, um. Admiral on the lead ship, Captain. Once he gives the orders, it will be lost. The parcel itself is less interesting than its intended recipient. Let's eliminate this errand boy, Admiral, and unmask the true Templar threat. Fire! I and often it is necessary. Just through the stream. Yeah, I think it. I think it's just my side of things. Um, I don't. I don't know what it is. Oh, oh, oh! Actually, I do know what it is. Hold on. I think I am overcomplicating this. As usual. Okay, let's try that, and then we'll try. We'll see how that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, with the actual combat, I can always turn it turn down the actual in game. Fire! Fire! So if you don't mind saying something. Fire! 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 Fire!
Uh, you're still really quiet. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't have people hearing myself through your stream that time. I'm saying words, waiting. Okay. I just needed to make sure I am coming through the stream. I don't know what's going on with you. I think I think the game is just loud because I can hear you. Yeah. It's just you're really quiet. So let me just turn down the game. I'm pretty sure it's just a game. Fire! 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 Almost ready. Ooh. And I missed. Well, oh, didn't fully miss. Fire! We're on the bow line from hell! Okay. And time to board. The mechanics of this game are almost identical- are actually identical to, uh, Black Flag because it is the same basic game. Come on. Thank you. Um, it's just, I have, it's been so long since I've played. I'm still trying to control him like he's Ezio, and that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Not how it works, I don't know. I want to ask. Yes. Why are you fighting this Templar bolt? Um, we don't know yet. There's a parcel they mentioned. He mentioned. He mentioned oh, there was a parcel, right. and that was about it. Um. I am so out of practice with this game, with uh, with these genre of games. I went from playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is completely different, to playing this. Um, okay, let me actually look at the controls. That might help. That might uh, help. Oops, oops, oops. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, reset default. Okay, customize controls. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, right, that's standard. That's right, it's E. I'm trying to counter in the same way that I would in Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, okay. Um, right, E and F, and then, uh, shift, shift is what I need to run. Um, then the usual stuff. Um, Okay, so there's no swords, no pistols yet. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think, I think, I think, I think I might. Okay, so brief, brief um, overview of, uh, brief review of um, Adewale. Uh, he was a, uh, a slave, if I remember correctly, he actually, I have him in the database here. People, characters, Adewale. Um, he was born in uh, Yoruba, I believe is how that's pronounced. Yoruba. Um, yeah, he was on a plantation. Um, if I remember correctly, he killed his owner. Yes, he uh, uh, killed his master. Um, and uh, was eventually arrested, uh, was rescued from that uh, from being arrested uh, by the protagonist of Assassin's Creed IV. Um, he's uh, he joins him as a pirate for a bit, and until he discovers the assassins, and he joins the assassins at um, at that point, and then he sets off at some point and gets his own ship and does assassin -y stuff. Um, Pop quiz, uh, Yoruba, where is that in modern day Africa? I already gave you a huge hint. Where is it? 
if you gave me a hint, I missed it entirely. Um, <laughs> an, uh, this is absolutely horrible, but I have no idea. My, Afri my Africa geography is... I barely passed that quiz in high school. Yes, but this is something that you should keep in mind for just general life getting around this. Yoruba is a tribe and a location in modern day Nigeria. Hmm. Okay. Nigeria. It's one of fair. the biggest it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh ethnic group in Nigeria itself. And so the language is widely spoken there. Okay. Makes sense. Um, but it was colonized by the British, and that's why, even though he was in his homeland with his family, he was enslaved and on a plantation. Yeah. Because that's what life was back then, and shit. Because the British suck. I mean, what? <laughs> Colonizers suck. And that includes Americans. Mm. Yes. Um, so... The brief, um, you asked why we were attacking this Templar boat. Other than Assassin versus Templar. Um, mm -hmm. the, uh, the only information we have so far is in the intro scene, there was a parcel that was mentioned uh, by Adewale saying that getting the parcel was more important, was, was important. So they're after a parcel of some sort. Um, and uh, for some reason, and this Templars have it. But on top of that, the uh, mission preamble, or whatever the fuck it's called, says Arewale embarks on what he believes will be a typical assassination mission on behalf of the Brotherhood. Loose all! Let's move! And that's all it says. <laughs> so. So we really have no idea. Yeah, we really have no idea. <laughs> Ooh, don't die this time, eh? I'll try not to. I, di I didn't die, I desynced. There is slightly a difference. Except I used to be synced because you die. Yeah, I know. So... <laughs> yeah, I know. I, um, I used to be so good at this. Like, I would be pinpointing, uh... I missed. Um... Like, I would never miss, essentially. Like, I used, I used to be so good. I don't, I don't want that. I want that. Ah, that's right. Counter is E. That's right. This is the growing pains of me relearning a game that has oh, been literal that years that I've played. Okay. I got the two of them that I was wanting, that I needed, the two of them that I needed to kill. Let's come up here and just go after you. Can you please not? Captain's 
dead, just have three more random crew to kill. Big guy. Okay, hold on. Now the game is too quiet. <laughs> I turned it down too low. Alright, let's put it. That's the guy. Yeah. That should be good. Okay. Ooh, that was a sword. Let me pick, let me see. Can I pick that up? No. Oh, okay. That's put the body down. Oh, no, there Pick up the weapon, please. Thank you. Things I need to remember that it lets me do now. Chain kills as well as um that, essentially. So Ade is from Nigeria. Yes. Adewale. Or um, you're you're saying his nickname Ade, of yes. course. Yes. Uh, which is how my brain automatically remembers him because that's what he gets called like ninety percent of the time by the protagonist of Assassin's Creed Four. Ah, uh, of course. Bastien Joseph, Port-au-Prince. What business do Templars have there? Captain. More French vessels at our tail! Too many tabs are there. Too many! We'll retreat through the storm! We will be smashed ashore! A worse fate awaits if we let this land in Templar hands! Aye, Captain! I just realized why I've been having trouble hearing you. And it's because I'm absolutely an idiot. Okay, so let me... Pause once more. Mess with options. Mm. Sound. Mm. Reset the sound to max. Because it's not that the game is quiet. Let me alt tab. Go back into my own volume settings. There we go. There we go. That fixes it. Or at least should. 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 Oops. Okay, now let's minimize that again, and uh, this. Okay, now, now we should be fine. Mm. Yes, already Thank you. much. Yes, <laughs> perfectly. All right. Wow. The maroons. That is not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go into the database. Base, we're going into database. We've been watching Log Horizon around here. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, okay, so the Maroon. People from the West Indies. Um, Central America, South Af America, and North America. <clears throat> that I'm choking on my own spit reading about. <laughs> that escaped slavery and found formed and settled communities away from their oppressors. Um, although the African slaves were not the first to be treated so badly, the Taino tribes that first inhabit, uh, inhabited uh, San Domingue, I believe is how that's pronounced, um, mm. were abused and bullied into submission by the Spanish, because of course they were. 
Um, and yeah, I'm not going to read that whole thing because it's a lot. Because right. I'm yeah. still scrolling. But yeah. Um, the Maroons are not to be confused with other black populations in San Domingue at the time. Freedmen slaves were also uh, who were freed legally through emancipation or manumission, I believe is how that's pronounced. And I'm not even, and uh, people of color um, who were born free or freed at birth were also there. So not not everybody was a maroon. And yeah, makes sense. Um, the Maroons in San Domingue were ultimately responsible for one of the few successful slave uprisings in history, and the only one to result in the founding of a free state, the Republic of Haiti, after a century of yeah. effort and more than one attempt. Oh, yes. If you uh, want to learn more about that in a way where a person basically just feeds you information, I'm going to be posting a link into the chat right now for a video series by the YouTube channel Extra Credits. They do good work, and I There's trust no you. Hope. Keep in mind, I am not Rescue Haitian. yourselves! I must stay with the ship! I am not oh, even, oh. <laughs> I'm not even, uh, I guess the easiest way to say it is an African descendant of slaves. I'm, my family's from Ghana, West Africa. And most of what I know is from friends and from music. So, you know, I may be wrong, but I'm also saying do research as well. That section is wholly lost. Not for Flotsam. Oh, and I'm also going to post that in Fire! your Discord. Keep your distance! I'm going to stream text. Fire! They're firing! They're firing! If you join the Discord, if you're watching, that is us! E. I appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> I just fucking sailed straight into a uh, water spout. That's, that's fun. Sounds fun. Yeah. That's Tony. Juice has brought the weather there. <laughs> Stop it. I'm sorry. What? I was not... I was laughing because I still had a tab open for Bill O'Reilly because of oh. the We'll Do It Live thing. Uh. And, you know, it's beautiful because on his bio, the first sentence, William James O'Reilly Jr. is a disgraced Oof. American journalist author. <laughs> yes! Yes! I was like, yes! You deserve it, you asshole. <laughs> he deserves a hell of a lot worse than that. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, you know. You deserve it, you asshole. <laughs> are. Are, are, are. <laughs> are, are. This is another new um, feature to the games that's introduced with Assassin's Creed 4. It's the uh, completion tracker and stuff, and I miss it. <laughs> 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 I, I well, it gave you nice little fun ways to make sure that you did the missions, uh, did the things to gain synchronization and stuff, and 100% and all of that, and it made yeah. me feel a little bit more clever and accomplished than just <laughs> rushing into a room, yeah, killing everything, and then running out. I get that. I love his assassin's robes. 
I think Ade's assassin's robes are my favorite assassin's at the robes in the entire series. Sorry that I can't uh, comment in real time, because like I'm just starting to see him stand up. Yeah, that's And fine. the title screen. Go, girl. They really just were like, hey, hey, check yeah, this out. We're not holding it's back. Bad, ain't it? <laughs> it's a, we're not holding back. <laughs> Templar can wait. This woman must not suffer. Yes, take up the machete. Sorry, can you tell that I'm late? A little bit. <laughs> but it's I'm fine. I'm gonna refresh me if it helps. But I don't it think won't. it will. Désolé. I have nothing to offer. So, nothing else is as me. was the read earlier, and is pure fact, the Haitian Revolution, revolution which actually is credited at starting at 1791, was the only slave uprising that led to the founding of a state that was not only free from slavery, but also ruled by non-former captives and non-whites. I mean, ruled by non-former, uh, I'm trying to find the word and not say cracker. <laughs> Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, ruled by non-whites and people who were not originally in power there. So, and that's partially because Haiti is full of a very stubborn, very persistent people. As said, that was not their first um, attempt at freedom back in 1791. There was actually a lot of a lot of trying and planning, but this game, Freedom Cry, actually uh, shows a little earlier in that century. Did you say 1730s? Uh, yeah, like 1735 ish, I think is what I is what it said when I looked mm -hmm. it up. I can, I copy and pasted it directly from the wiki when I messaged you about it earlier. Um, yeah, so the early 1730s when they were still revving up for this revolution. So we're not going to see like uh, Captain Toussaint murder everyone, but I mean, we may still, still see cool. Captain Toussaint. I, I thought he was too young for that. Let me see. Possibly, I don't. Possibly, I don't know. I don't remember. I, 1735 to 1737 is the is the time period that this uh, game takes place in. Mhm. Mm I'm going so, to see when he was born. When was he born? He was born 1743. He was definitely he's definitely too young to exist now. <laughs> I mean, Assassin's Creed gets a little a little cheeky like that sometimes, where it's just like, That's maybe Ade problem. picks up a random baby and is just like, you will That's... do great things. And... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if Ezio can be the person that um, Niccolo Machiavelli wrote The Prince about, then <laughs> anything is possible. <laughs> No. Sure, when, uh, I'll just leave it at that. Man. Is that a gray hair or but is that like... Gentleman no, it's a gray hair. Her. Just gotta... Too late for this I one. just wish things would blend. Anyhow, Find another in town. lay down. The thanks is now mine. <laughs> Do you have a place of refuge? My family waits in the mountains. Demon, gemon. Et Dieu soit avec vous. Okay. Locate a gentleman. 
So, in that conversation, he asked her about the uh, person he's looking for. Um, what was the name? Um, says it right there. Uh, I'm going to need help with that name pronunciation, Yvonne. Uh, Bastien? Keep in mind, I have no French origin. This is French. Uh, I mean, you have, you know, you probably know more about Fr the French language and pronunciation than I do. Probably not, but let's see. I would say Bastien Joseph. Okay, that that's kind of what my brain was wanting to say as well. They've they've said it several times, and I, it's just my brain has not solidified it. I've only played out of the Assassin's Creed games. This is one of the ones that I've played the least. And that's because when I picked it up, um, it was in a stretch of time when I uh, got like four or five Assassin's Creed games all at once. And by the time I finished all of them, I was essentially more or less caught up, uh, kept staying caught up with the series. And so it just kept coming and coming and coming and coming to the point where I was um, just um, staying caught up rather than having time to go back and replay. Mm -hmm. uh, Blue is and in the chat. And Stargate just comes up in here like, didn't you grow up around a lot of Haitians? I did. I did, okay? But that doesn't mean I can automatically speak Creole or French, because I can't. I All grew I know up in the South, that doesn't mean- And that's it. <laughs> I grew up in the South, that doesn't mean I can understand a lot of what they say. So. But you can sure do a southern accent if you want to. If I want to, yeah. <laughs> I can really sound really white if I want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let me before actually accomplishing that mission, I'm going to I'm going to try to get a feel for the controls of things. Um, and just kind of remember how this game runs and moves and operates. Um, the, uh, ooh, hello. Um, ooh, I can buy. Like, okay, so I may have more of a frame of reference for the pronunciation in Creole, but not in French, because, like, the common language in Haiti is Haitian Creole. There are people who speak French, but that's not the people's language. It's more of the higher class language, which is a bit annoying, to be honest. They kind of think, oh, if you don't speak French, then you're not, like, posh. So, like, parents will be like, oh, you must learn French so you can be accepted in the higher circles. And it, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of trash. But that's just my opinion as a non-Haitian person looking in. Okay, I think I got a feel for movement. Ah, oh, this is such a beautiful game. I love it. It is really pretty. Um, also, this is this is higher graphics than I usually. Uh, oh shoot! Hi, man. I'm not here. Don't worry about it. it it's not. Nope. Not. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. That was so... <laughs> I was- all I was doing was standing on a tree. It's not his problem. <laughs> I'm going to say something. It's going to sound terrible. Take some time to adjust. You are a black. It is his problem. And he's dead, so it's no longer his problem. So, he, he's he dead. He ain't he ain't coming back. It, it, nothing else is his problem. Anyway, what I was trying to say was, this game is 
uh, I'm playing it on higher graphics than I did the first time around too, so it's even more pretty, prettier than I remember. Um, and that's because I have better equipment now than I did then. Huzzah. Yeah. Yeah, if you think this game na uh, nails the, uh, uh, like, beats you over the head with, uh, hey look, sa slavery is a thing and it's bad, uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation is at least this, uh, equally as bad, if not worse, in that respect. Where does the Liberation take place? Uh, New uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation takes place in New Orleans, uh, before it was part of the, uh, the states. Okay. Um, Aveline takes, uh, uh, that, it takes place around the same time as Assassin's Creed 3. Mm -hmm. Which is okay. American Revolution era. Yep. Thank you, monsieur. You've enjoyed enough. But wouldn't that remain French territory for at least another... Yes. Yes, okay. it was while it was still French territory. Um, Aveline is a... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sorry, I'm... Playing a you game and talking is hard for me. I'm actually not. Mm -hmm. I killed everybody who saw me. Um, oh. But no, I'm trying to... Think while play a game, and it and, and I'm trying to talk and think and play a game all at once, and it's not happening. Um, Aveline the uh, Grand Prix is a uh, is the daughter of a um, uh, a French. I don't want to say noble because that's not the word. Uh, he was he was a businessman, a rich a French rich businessman. Um, mm -hmm. and he, uh, her mother was, his, one, uh, was, I don't remember if she was a slave or just an employee of his. Um, and when I say employee, I mean, employee, I, I mean, yeah, slave. Um, like, I don't remember if she was his slave or just, like, a random slave that he was acquainted with that then he bought or what. I don't, I don't remember the full story. Um, but she... Anyway, he raises her as his own daughter. Like, he actually fell in love with uh, her mother. And it wasn't just, like, a, you know, a thing. It was an actual, like, love story thing. Um, uh, and, uh... They, um... He... Uh, he raised Aveline as his proper daughter, um, and the things like that. Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to steal this guy's key. Okay. Well, back to combat. Civilians, get the fuck out of my way. Ow. You can be nicer about it. I mean, they're literally standing where I'm trying to stab people, so... <laughs> you could be nicer at that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> That's hard on the throat, man. For the wrongs I've done. <sighs> anyway. You will not regret this. You deserve it. Um, but yeah, so she... Like, so she ends up being all, like, posh and everything, while also, like, fully aware of, you know, the... Shall we call them perks of being a black woman in that time period? And by perks, I mean she was a black woman in that time period and was often very uh, treated as such if she wasn't wearing her Hi, I am the daughter of this really rich white guy, so bite me outfit. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it, yeah. Um, and they, they kind of go into things and in, about like that and a bit like I don't remember how much of a focus it was to the story but I do remember playing it and being like dang okay but yeah Aveline 
overall as in a, as one of the characters in the in this game series is one of my favorite like she she is tied for my merchant class uh yeah uh he was uh, he ran a uh a uh shipping in a uh, shipping industry he brought in things like coffee and things like that basically Aveline, the, like little bit of spoil like not that's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Um, the for any of you who know, like for the two of you right now that know about our uh, D and D stuff, Aya, my character, was based off, uh, slightly off of Aveline. Her story was slightly, like very slightly. Um, the merchant father and with the the mixed blood daughter type of thing. You could just call her mixed race. Well, in D&D, it's a thing. It, it, like, it, it, I guess... I don't know. Yeah, you're right. In I, Demon... It's still mixed race, yeah. You're yes, right. Yes, mixed race. I'm, I'm... Still trying to speak while <laughs> playing a game. And trying to think and speak and playing the game and it's it's like those triangle things where it's like pick two essentially uh -huh. <laughs> so either i speak without thinking i speak and think without uh play i play the game and speak without thinking i play the game and think and don't speak which is probably the preferred <laughs> honestly <laughs> um or i speak and think and don't play the game that, no. That's... Yeah. So, for future reference, mixed race. Just leave it there. Mixed race. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. This is what I was trying to get to right here. We've reached that point in time in the game where we, where we assassin climb a church, perch on the steeple of it, and get a view of the area, and then jump into a pile of something. Usually hay. Usually hay, but they're trying to shake it up a little with some stuff. Yeah, sometimes it's like flower petals. Sometimes it's like. Uh, um yeah okay yeah. so on, let me look at the map real quick okay so we could go liberate some slaves or do we want to complete our mission oh uh, your mission to find a gentleman a uh, uh, gentleman yes uh, that's right i started to say um in the conversation that was happening um Ba they, the the woman that Ade rescued, very made some very um, shall we say pointed, uh, remarks about the character of Bastine Joseph, um, a a and talking about how local gentlemen could lead you to her, so it's my job to now find a gentleman, um. A John. <laughs> a Chad, probably more like it. No, probably a John. Probably a John. Then again, this is, uh, this is, um, Porto Prince. So, maybe not that specific name. John. Yeah. John Luck Pickard. Oh no, no. <laughs> Alright. Um Oh, I'm in my area, actually. Let's put on the uh old Eagle Vision and see what I can find. Man, I miss Eagle Vision. 
In the newer games, they don't have it, at least not in the same form. They have a couple of other things that are similar to it. But like, one of the things that I, one of the touches that I love in the in these uh, games is that each assassin has a different has an eagle vision that works slightly different. Um, so like, Ezio's doesn't work like Altair's does, and uh, so on and so forth. Um. I think I am gonna go kill those guys and free those slaves. Um, but we'll see. Where's my, where's my pigeon? Come here. Where are you at? Hmm. I'm glad that in tackling this kind of uh, subject matter, they went with Ada Wale and then. Put in somebody random. But... Or, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, <clears throat> they they would have worked with uh, with Aveline because, like I said, they went a bit into it with Aveline too. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, um, they had a whole backstory and everything for her. Right, right, exactly. Anade was one of the breakout superstars of Assassin's Creed 4. To this by so it was only right that they gave him a bit of a standalone thing, even though they copped out. <laughs> he should have had his own game, like full game. He should have. He really should have. Like, honestly, he should have been the protagonist of Black Flag. Like, Edward is great, but it should have been Ade. Madame Joseph, I'm on my way now to present. I was detected? <laughs> I mean, I was. I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to be detected. You walked straight up onto the Normally sales it tells platform. Me. I know! If I wouldn't like, have done oh, that! No. I didn't know that if I had- I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to be detected. Otherwise, I would not have done that. It said trail! Oh. Oh! So that means I found the guy I was looking for? Mm -hmm. I wasn't worrying about that. I was working about trying to free those slaves. Hey, I'm sorry, I just saw the guy shove Adewale and I was like, oh no, he don't. Yeah, no, he he, he didn't get away with that for long. Mm -hmm. He didn't get away with that. I owe you much, stranger. You're welcome. Okay. And I'll go ahead and free these two, because I've already killed their guys. I know. And it's one of the most annoying aspects of the games is when it's like, this is a restricted area, and it's like, I know the giant red area on the map kind of tipped me off. <laughs> but it's also like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Good thing Sorry, didn't mean to run that into that guy. You deserve to have a choice. It's funny because like when it comes to when it comes to video games and stuff, and when uh, blood and violence and all that jazz, like I'm all I'm usually the squeamish type that's like, oh no, I can't watch, I can't do it. But for this, it's you know important to history that it is violent. Kind of weirdly enough, right. because um, it's also incredibly a satisfying. Thing, <laughs> mm, a big thing about the Haitian Revolution is that they weren't afraid of violence, and they were just like, "We're killing everyone," so nobody was really spared. Y'all got the act, and it was a thing Good. that. <laughs> it really um, put the fear into a lot of slave owners and also gave inspiration to a lot of uh, slaves and free black people and etc, etc. 
However, you know, it did not help with reputation. Because they were all like, ah! I, I, I found a gentleman. Yeah, uh, yes. He looks, he looks like a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Ah, gentleman. Yep. And fear not, you'll meet Disgusting. no competition Anyhow. for me. Anyhow. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, it did not help with, um, let's say, uh, I'm trying to think of the word right now. Reputation of black people, because they're just like, ah, this just proves that black people are savages and only know how to communicate with violence, and yet completely ignoring the fact that uh, slavery was brought, like just full of violence, abducting people from their homes, making them work for obscene amounts of hours, day for no after pain. day, after day, beating them so much that like their muscles would basically fall out of their bones. Like, no, no joke. Uh, there was an excavation done in New York of a former slave graveyard, yeah? And yeah. There, was, there was this one man who was found, and they examined him. And they found out that he died because when he was getting beat, his bones and his, like, uh, muscles literally disconnected from each other. That was that the amount of force that was getting put on him. So, yeah. I mean, if I remember correctly, if you whip a person, they can only withstand like 75 lashes or something like that? Just about. Damn it. Desynced. Sorry. That's not your fault. That was entirely the I, fact that I I got a little too brazen uh, in my mm. tailing. I killed like three guys and got caught. <laughs> yeah, and then had a did. mob that, that followed me. Yeah, yeah you know, that's... just oh, casually. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I did successfully, man, it, it, during combat. Like, there was this mob of slavers <laughs> following me as I was fighting them off following this guy who's just oblivious to the war happening behind him. <laughs> that would be hilarious in real life, no lie. Like, yeah, absolutely would be. Uh, all right, let's let's go let's go say hi to this uh, what was her name again? Bastine. The madame. Ah. You think me a traitor? Slaves will be safer for it. Monsieur Gouverneur, they felt safe at the plantation. Do you think they would rebel? <laughs> of course. Is there animal nature? Violence is the only currency that motivates them. Like coin. Mm -hmm. If you really want to protect your African friends, spread the word. Quiet them down. Otherwise. You need not describe. Mm. I know what you do. I could not raise a hand to hurt a fly. But the other here, every right. It's funny how what I said literally had had uh, implications in the game, like immediate yeah. implications. Sorry, I was focusing. What were you saying? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying it was funny how uh, gentleman equals incel. About... Your boyfriend just said gentleman equals incel. Um, That's not... No, it and means that was a while ago. Well, it's fine. Slaves would be safer for it. Monsieur Gouverneur, but they felt safe at the plantation. I only just now saw it. They would rebel. <laughs> of course. Is there animal nature? Violence is the only currency that motivates them. But yes, yeah, so I was saying God. that. What I was saying about um, slavers saying that, oh, black people are just prone to violence, they're like animals. This is what 
this um, terrible person is saying as well. Yep. I will deliver you. And this was a I, I can't. I can't wait to shove this, uh, my knife in this Templar's throat, assuming that, that, that this guy is Templar. And if he's not, he still deserves a knife in the throat. Mm. They'll probably pin him as a Templar, because order, and like, whatever, and Templars are bad, 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 bad. They are, though. Maki de Fayette was his name. Um. Historical events. Slavery in San Domingue. I'm probably butchering that. Uh, Code Noir. Um, things that people can look up in their in their free time. <laughs> the Code Noir. <laughs> um, let's see here. Where we I was go looking for... look it up. Google is a thing. Wikipedia yep. is a thing. And when you look into it. Let your mind be blown. Yeah. Uh, Pierre Marquis de Fayette. Um, Boubinard. Uh, he was born... Oops. Born 1675. Died unknown, which probably means I am going to end up killing him. Um, mm. They they like to do that when it's characters that you that, whose deaths uh, you either witness or are responsible for. Example. Mm. Adewale. Died unknown. We don't know when he died because he's a main character and they don't want to tell you when he dies. <laughs> um, born 1675, died unknown. Probably going to end up killing him in a bit. Um, mm. Let's see here. Does it say he's a Templar? Uh, does not explicitly say as much. No. Ah, Maroons, Overseers, Characters. I do not have Bastien yet. Sorry, just clearing out my little notification things, because those bug the hell out of me. So when are we pulling out our machete? Our machete. I have a couple well, of times already. Expecting a package. But not you. Where's l'admiral? I see. <laughs> and do you mean for me to meet the same fate? I'm sorry, I'm looking at the um Look around. One threat. At the graphics on will the madam. I bring no it threat. It is interesting. Tell me how do the Templars allow you to carry on? Actually the eyes in this game <laughs> in general. I am it's only very messenger. interesting because all of them seem to glow. But before you judge, every single one. That's a very Ubisoft the thing. This coin like any will buy the freedom of men like you. I know this mark. You know nothing. You have the brand of a slave. Hmm. The eloquence of a scholar. Hands of a sailor and an assassin's hood. Few weapons. I think the storm stranded you. What do you need? A ship? Shelter? These things can be had for the price of this parcel. I need nothing I can't win for myself. But prove that what you promise is true. I love Ade so much. And perhaps <laughs> something can be real. Is this your game? Very well. And you will do me a favor. Augustin Dufort is a very secretive man. First find his plantation contact and give him this message from the Gouverneur. Augustin will give you all the proof you need. Repeat this password. Silly patoto cabla. If you don't go to sleep, the crab will eat you. <laughs> Am I a convincing baritone? Now I suggest you leave before my admirers get suspicious. What was the squeak for?
Sorry, the that was when she said a convincing baritone, and I was like, uh, wow. <laughs> like oh reach you're there and i was very confused oh yeah no it was for a secondary objective that popped up um the, the one that was just right there it was save this guy from being murdered by this uh, by his overseer and that's Basically. the guy you stabbed uh yeah the, the bad guy is the, the overseer is who i stabbed yes, <gasps> yes i mean Have you, uh, oh, so shall we, shall we tell them about what's going to be special about the rest of this month other than me playing this instead of Assassin's Creed 2? Oh, sure. Do you want to say it since this is your stream and what you are doing, or? Um, so my, th because of, okay, so my general plan for the month, for this month is on Mondays, I'm going to try, it might be short notice, uh, for some people. Um, some people may prefer longer notice. I don't know. I'm going to try to have a different guest each Monday. Um, today I'm having Yvonne. Wrong side. Um, next uh, week, I don't know who I'm going to have yet because I haven't talked, found anybody yet or anything like that. But I'll find somebody, I hope. Um, and uh, as part of the whole thing, uh, we'll... we'll hang out and chat um if there's any topics they want to talk about while we while i play this game or anything like that um they are free to do so um and uh or if they want to comment on the game or whatever um they are free to do so um and then at the end of the stream they will challenge me to play uh a game of their choice for two for my Tuesday stream, um, and so, uh, yeah, um, I I will if I don't already own it, then it will be hopefully within. I, I'll be asking them to keep it within a certain within a reasonable price range, um, and it would have to and limited to PC only because unfortunately I don't have any streamable consoles at the moment. I mean, um, they have a PS3, but eh, complicated. Um, I don't have it in a place where I can stream from it. Essentially, hmm. um, that would and I don't know how I would set that up, and it would take longer than I would be able to put into it to set that up, most likely. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. Different. I know it's excuses, but I'm also I also left this to the, it is excuses. You're not wrong though. You may be kidding, but you're not wrong. Um, and uh, uh, I'm trying very hard not to. Okay, I just I really want to murder them, but I won't I won't yet. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, so towards the end of the stream, at some point, Yvonne will be. Um, challenge at at uh, at the end of the stream, Yvonne will be challenging me to play a game of her choice. Um, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, she decides to. Um, am I lagging? I'm getting some red uh red text on OBS. Let me see. Oh, it doesn't seem like it from my end. Okay, well maybe OBS is just saying watch it. Yeah, okay. probably. Okay. But yeah, so tomorrow, instead of Tomb Raider, I will be playing whatever Yvonne challenges me to play. If I can get my hands on it. 
If not, there will be a secondary thing and so on and so forth and etc. We'll worry about it if we, if I can't get my hands on it. Then. We'll worry about it then if I can't get my hands on it is what I'm trying to say. Hey look, you were talking about um, alternatives to hay. Beautiful. Because you know, those operate physically exactly like stacks of hay Exactly does. the same. Just palm leaves, not broken up at all. Just like hay. What are you talking yep. about? Um, and Howie, you do not get a say. This is purely Yvonne's choice. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you get a say if Yvonne deems you get a say, but... But you do not. At least not right out the bat. Okay. Stay hidden to avoid casualties. Well, that's good to know. Um, let's come up here. Okay, let's, um... Okay, there's a guy there. Can I... Let me target. There you go. Um, guy there. Um... Ooh. Nope, 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 nope. Um, oh, it wants me over there. Okay. That I can do. So how's everybody's day going? Does that include me? <laughs> yes, that includes you. Um... <laughs> uh... Howie's throwing out Undertale, Stardew Valley, uh, Factorio, Factorio, and Dream Daddy. And Dream Daddy. <laughs> I'm not going to say any of those, though. I figured you wouldn't. Um. Okay. Are you going to... Come here. Come here. Yes, there you go. Darn it! D darn it? I have the Dream Daddy song in my head now. I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. What's that? I don't know if you can hear it, but there's, um... They were, but I think me pausing it broke it up. There was some ambient singing happening from the slaves. Mm. Wilf, you, I want to know too, man. I want to know too. Last I knew, she hadn't decided. Let's pop you, and then pop you. Here and just sabotage that. You saw nothing, sir. Hmm. There you go. saw nothing. Okay, so I have to kill 18 more of these guys. Meanwhile, these two over here woke up like, damn, man, I just took just took a nap in the middle of the day. Yep, oh, wrong thing. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, Avon, but you can you hear the singing? Yeah, I hear it. Okay. I don't know. It's it seems quiet on my side, but I don't know, so I don't know how quiet it is on the stream. Yep, you guys are, um...
Oh, that's the person I'm supposed to talk to over there. Take the body and relocate it. So that it's not, you know, affecting these slave these these people too much. Okay. Did I loot this one already? Apparently I didn't. Okay. Alright, let's go up. Oh, that's a viewpoint. Okay, makes sense. There's a giant fucking eagle on the top of it. <laughs> um, Queen says her day was pretty good. Left work early because of the snow. Cool, cool, cool. Um, ha Queen, was your work to was your uh, day today um, better than last week? I love that this guy doesn't even feel the heavy ass body landing in the part of hay. He's just like... He's just like, what? <laughs> I can't. There should have been an audible thud against the freaking wood. Not to mention the greening of the, the the groaning of the of the of the added weight, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, th there's a lot of should have been. I'm glad it was much better than it was last week. I know last week was really rough for you. And this dude should be like, where'd my friend go? He was literally standing right here. They're probably not friends. I mean, co-worker, whatever. You probably don't care. <laughs> Let's face it, all racists are friends. That's probably not true. No, it's probably not true at all. Okay, if I just <laughs> charged at these two and shanked them both at the same time, would it uh, draw attention? I don't think so. I think most attention is elsewhere. <laughs> Yeah, the, these these two bodies are so hidden in these fields right here, so hidden. <laughs> they're not. I mean, they would count as hidden, but they're very much not hidden, or wouldn't be. I guess would be the better way of saying that. I would like to pick up this body, please. Thank you. And I'd like to go over here. That's not where I. Ade. 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 <laughs> Pick up the obviously non-hidden guy. Thank you. Jeez. Pulls another cor a different corpse out of the p the bush. You see nothing, sir. You see nothing. I just want to do the meme where you slap the thing, like slaps bush. This bush can so hold so many dead bodies in it. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I mean, now that you've said it, <laughs> this guy has to go in the same bush. Oh God. At some point there should be a, like a moment where it's just like, okay, I cannot hold any more dead bodies. Like Hitman has. Each, each, each corpse uh, each corpse hiding spot in uh, Hitman can only hide two bodies. Hmm. Be they dead or other. Usually naked in Hitman. Hmm. <laughs> because you you knock them out and steal their clothing. Hmm. So that you can disguise yourself. I mean, it all makes sense within the pur purpose of the game. He's not, it, it's not just a thing he likes to do. <laughs> I don't know, because it sounds like he is a pervert. He can't do it to women. He will never do it to women. He only does it to men. So it he sounds like it he's a gay pervert. <laughs> I mean, he does get, sometimes get in the boxes and get really close to the now naked bodies. Mm. 
Hitman is a great game. It really is. <laughs> Hot A. Is that hidden? Pick up the body. Hot A! That is not what I told you to do. By any stretch of the imagination. Thank you. I mean, you're the assassin here, but please. You know better. Uh, Ori and the Blind Forest. I think I actually have both Ori games. Um, and I do want to play them eventually, but... Maybe, I don't know. Actually, maybe I only have... Actually, I may not have Ori. It may not be Ori that I'm thinking of. I don't remember. Mm. I don't remember at the moment, and I can't easily check. Okay. Okay, so there's two guys there. So far, I haven't lost a single slave, which is good. I appreciate that. <clears throat> um, that's an alarm bell that I need to... Oop, there's a guy back there, too. All right. Um. So how was your day, uh, Howie, if you're still watching? The unfortunate thing, like, the easy thing to do would be to use a berserk dart on these guys and have them fight each other. However, I know from personal experience, you use a berserk dart on these guys, they won't go and fight each other. They'll go and start killing slaves. Uh. Yeah. So, that's a no. Yeah, it's a very much no. You saw nothing. Are they gonna go investigate? One of them is. Oh, yep, one of them is. Eh, could have been worse. It was a little more, <laughs> less stealthy than I'd hoped for, but. Wait, nope, nope, I'm doing that wrong. Come back. Congrats. Come back. Ugh, you're shoveling. Uh, what? I'm not. Uh, because I read Stargate's, um, thing. He said that he's doing okay, dreading shoveling. And, you know, over here we're expecting about 13 inches. And we haven't touched in a while. We usually do like several passes as the snow is falling so it doesn't get that bad. We haven't done that. So it's gonna be fun. Ah. Take lots of ibuprofen ahead of time. Yeah, Howie. Because you were talking to me before about how shoveling out you always hurt your back I'm legit like it's just gonna be this one corpse pile bush that's legitimately what it's gonna be and I'm okay with this if I could if I could I would pick them I, I would set that one bush on fire afterwards if I could and just let the bodies burn but you wow. can't do that in this game no. You can in later games. And I've done that in both Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Origins. Wow. When when a specific um, group of peop of uh, enemies was um, particularly a pain in the ass, hmm. I would burn their bodies. Which, in one of the games, if I remember correctly, is a... 
is a thing where you act where it's like actually a thing that you do not do to bodies because oh it i'm pretty sure it's in in origins it's a thing you, you do not ever do because it means that they cannot go into the afterlife yeah yeah and so you know if they're particularly assholes Hmm. Well. Hmm. Can I? Can I? Please? No? Okay. I would like to kill you guys. Oh, bush, right here. Okay. Come here. Alright, now while he's taking a nap, I'm gonna loot your pockets, pick you up, and move you to the corpse pile. Lovely. What I could do is I could take the uh, corpse, corpses out and put them all in the hay, the hay with the other two that I put in there. What? Mm, the two that I can't, the, the ones in the hay I can't actually pull out. They don't technically exist anymore. Anyway, you started to ask a question. What was your question? How are you with platforms? Platforms? What do you mean? Platformers. Oh, platformers? I, I'm pretty decent. I mean, I grew up with Mario and stuff. It depends mm. on the game itself. Um, <gasps> Alright, let's loot you. And pick you up. Don't, like, I, I really want you to not take me into account at all in the thing, right? I just want it to be a game Making that you want me to play. Account. Okay, fine. But, exactly. Just let me do this! I really, okay. Just let me do this, okay? Okay, I thought you said that was horrible on the throat. It is. So don't do it. But I got him. Okay. Hey. Okay. I have to kill one more overseer. Where are they? Oh, right here. Ade, climb. Go over the. Ade, go over the. Okay, fine. That was weird. Sorry. Oh, sorry. No need to Ooh. apologize. Don't thank me until the sun goes down. <clears throat> Plantation liberated. Ah. Cool. You'll do the burning corpse pile in Valhalla? You absolutely should. That is absolutely a thing that would happen in Valhalla. That is definitely a thing that would happen in Valhalla. Because that was a thing that the Vikings did. And it often upset the hell out of the local cultures because of the fact that that was a thing that a lot of local cultures at the time did not do. And it was one of the big reasons why they were so feared because it, as far as they were concerned that if you were burning the bodies like that, that meant that you were very specifically preventing them from going into the afterlife. When that wasn't what the Vikings were doing, they were just burying the bodies in the way that they believed they should be buried for their own cult- for their own culture. At least that was my understanding of it. But I am not a professional. <laughs> One of the few times you'll actually hear me say that I don't know everything. <gasps> And that's something that you need to say a lot, a lot more. A lot more, yeah. Just a lot. Because I know a lot. I do know a lot. But I don't know everything. And it's something I need to constantly remind myself of. <clears throat> and just because I do know a lot, that doesn't mean I'm always right. Which is another thing I'm constantly struggling with. Welcome mm -hmm. to the uh, to Crimson Streams, where I'm constantly... 
uh, shitting on myself for being uh, where, where I out myself. That's what I should be saying. Where I'm exposing myself yep. in all of my flaws <laughs> to the world and a bunch of strangers with my friends. Mostly your friends, though. Well, I mean, it depends. I do get some strangers occasionally. And even so, we don't know who, how many people watch uh, my streams afterwards and stuff like that. There's a lot I don't know about the people who view, mainly because ha, I don't really pay that much attention to it. Ah. I should pay more attention. Yes. The queen has declared it as self-reflection and personal growth. Um. And because she's the queen, I cannot argue. Right? That's how that works? Yep. I know this too. The wise man is down that path. Thank you, sister. The one slave who didn't leave with the rest of them. <laughs> I mean, it's literally now an empty fucking plantation. I mean, maybe she wants to take it over. I mean, fair. Damn it, no, I just... Uh, I want to see a story about, like, a bunch of uh, enslaved folk on a plantation, and they go like, F this, and then they take over the plantation. Like, I want to see this, like, in a movie. Write it. <sighs> yeah, I could. Alright. It's Yvonne's just, like, fuck I it, I'm leaving. This This is what I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, you know, like, I have so many things that I'm trying to do in general because uh, representation is lacking and necessary at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, like, as I've been talking about over and over and a little bit of what you've experienced already, uh, I've been working on a reflavoring of the Sun Elves in uh, the setting of the Forgotten Realms in Dungeons and Dragons, where their background is more based off of African cultures and practices. And that's not only pulling from my experience as a West African person, but also like looking throughout the continent, seeing what we've done in the past, what's been done now, et cetera, et cetera. And kind of making this uh, weird tapestry of all of these different things to represent the Sun Elves. However, there is the main problem that it's not uh, Dungeons and Dragons is not a visual medium. It usually depends on whoever gets the module or it gets the information to translate that the for book. the players. <clears throat> they often write the include book. imagery in the books. Yeah. Yeah, but this is assuming I write a book and a module and publish it. It's I mean... still going to come. Yeah. It's still going to come down to the DMs to try and understand that and pass that to their players. But yep. because there's now a lot of representation of not only Africa, but just black people in movies and games and whatnot, that is difficult for a lot of people. Like I've been looking on um, Wikipedia at this list list of black video game characters it is surprisingly small and most of them are either in fighting games or sports games and like black people have done so much more than that i mean if it wasn't for a black person we wouldn't have video games as we know it right now like pretty much a black man created our consoles without that we wouldn't have freaking consoles but, um, yeah. yee. Um, I forgot why I started on this ramp. Um, because oh, movie script. Oh, because movie script. Like, representation is important. And also, it's very important to highlight 
black people, black voices, black stories without it always having to fall into, oh, this was slavery or, oh, this is the hood with gangsters and all of that. But like, depending on only one or two or a few of people to do that kind of thing gets to be a very overwhelming for that person and that's Absolutely. not just with black people that's like yes this came into play when people like maya angelou or nina simone or uh tori morrison like this came into play when they got big in their own fields but like if we're like oh we need to see this kind of this kind of fantasy novel we need to contact sanderson like he writes enough <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yes. if you have an idea you can try and put it through yourself if you feel like you can't handle it maybe collab with somebody which, you know, I will probably end up doing about the uh, plantation thing. Because as I said, I'm not the descendant of slaves or enslaved folk. Um, so I would probably want to team up with people who are more familiar with that culture and that world and make something that's rooted in reality without being too pandering. But, um, I already forgot my train of thought again. Ah! <laughs> Where did we start from? <laughs> Script writing. Yes. Black people's voices should be heard. But that doesn't mean we get one black person and say, say all the things now. We have to broaden our scope because we are not a monolith. Yeah. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I would be a terrible TED Talk person, considering that I just run with my train of thought, and then I'm like, wait, I wanted to make a point. What was the point? Ah! Speaking of TED Talks, you know what, um, what YouTube suggested to me the other day? What? Um, a TED Talk done by my ex. No kidding. No, no kidding. We That's we serious. The nest. Like, I don't watch <laughs> TED Talks. I don't watch TED Talks. I don't know how this ended up in my YouTube recommendations. Like, the at name. all. That's Why, though? I haven't... Because like, it, the, her like, her name has had absolutely nothing years, to do but, with me anymore. But, like, anymore. But, like, <laughs> algorithms don't fully acknowledge that like it's in your file and therefore they're just going to be like oh he might be interested in that because he did this seven eight years ago Blah! fair i know stalkers yep digital freaking stalkers A plantation has already found a new owner. If it's not the black girl, then I don't want it. Facts. Dude, you're alive, but you're on fire. Okay. Oh. This man is on fire. 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 And not, not in that way. Is, uh, is they on fire? Right. Sheesh. Oh, how 
long are you going today for the stream? Up. Oh, it is almost it is almost six o'clock. I'll finish this area and then we'll call it. Cause six o'clock oh, okay. is usually when I go till. Oh boy. You figure one out? Oh no. I found something for me and I'm going to sink so fast into this. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, okay. So, I just stumbled upon a thing called the Wagadu Chronicles. And it's an Afro fantasy setting, yeah? I think and I've they heard of that an, actually. They have an MMO, but they also have like uh, rules and books and stuff to plug into D&D 5E. Mm. Yee! You, you understand? I'm hyped. I am hype too, man. Shit. Can you send me that link, please? Oh, heck yeah. Pick, I'm pick doing up the body, right please. Uh, yeah, pick up the body. And also, I will post it into uh, the Discord, which you should join if you haven't joined already, and into this stream chat right here. Yvonne found something that is amazing. Uh, so before I talk to this guy, Yvonne, uh, have you heard the name Augustine Dufort before? I'm butchering that last name. It's on, the name is on I screen. Don't, I don't think I have. Okay. Well. Do not let them escape the river. Hurry before they bring more enemies. What's pretty weird, Queen? Were you talking about the the thing that Yvonne found? Augustine's your fault. People say without doing, God does without saying. The French governor is two-faced. Uh, Bastien helps as she can, but my target, I don't think... Is going to be. I don't think Long that enough. Jamie asked you a thing? A warrior like you would be a great asset to a cause. No, it's a queen. I serve a different brotherhood, and I'm all so unless you're the queen. to return as soon as I find the means. But only the I one know when that will be. Meantime, ah, yeah, that that was that pretty weird. The TED Talk recommendation. Perhaps our needs may align for a time. It was one of those but things where I was like, recruits, liberated slaves. YouTube, slaves. go the fuck away. <laughs> the warriors among them join me. <laughs> like YouTube, the you suck ass. YouTube, for why which do you do fight. this to me? Tita T. That's the one. God. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. It just really like. Sank into my soul for a sec. I will see that you are rewarded for whatever you can give. Best begin soon. There's much to do.
I love Ade. Hmm. You're on voice chat? As in, is he in our, is he in the Discord with us, or is he... No, he's on the voice chat with a different person. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Recruiting Maroons helps you build resistance. Basically, I'm building a resistance now. Go figure. Bra, bra. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm a very, you know, yeah. that. <laughs> You're the Hercules Mulligan. Yeah. Like, in our friend group, just in general. <laughs> in general! Just... <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Fun fact. Um, Captain Toussaint, who led uh, Haiti to revolution and eventually independence. Uh, he was so, like, so supported by Alexander Hamilton. Like, he was like, okay, so this revolution is a good thing and we need to have it happen. Whereas, you know, a lot of slavers were like, this is the worst thing of all time. And he was like, nah, we in this. And then when the revolution was over, Hamilton was like, yo, we should be friends. We should, you know, have some connects like between America and Haiti. So fun fact. That's it. Oh, that that was that was the end of the the, the fun facts. Okay. That was the end <laughs> of the fun facts. I was confused for a second. Uh, <laughs> that's fair, Howie. You you don't you don't have to actually be listening to us. Good choice. Won't regret it. Yeah. No. You're, Ooh, you're good. Hold on. Did you just hear this guy's voice? Well, wait for it to catch up on your stream. I love this guy. This... I did not. I just missed There's it. There's no rush. Listen to his voice. I love how deep Meta, it is. Perhaps. Oh, yes. Hey, no I'm sorry. Don't be. Oh, my goodness. I, I will forever love the voice acting in, Assa in Assassin's Creed games. There's a few where they go, where they make some really weird, uh, you know, choices. <laughs> like having the almost the entirety of Paris during the French Revolution be British sounding. Um, that was a little cringe, but Super for the most cringe. part, for the most part, they're on it with the, with the voice acting. Mm. Um, all right, we've got seven minutes left to the stream. Let me quote, return to Port-au-Prince. And then we'll call it there. Hmm. Which works well, because I kind of have to pee. You don't get to pee. Ever. Ooh, we get Ever. to use the blunderbuss. The blunderbuss is a firearm that can deal damage to multiple targets. It has a shorter range, kills instantly, and fires only once between reloading. So, a shotgun. <laughs> More like a boom. Quick boom. Click boom, yeah. I need to, you know, stop with the Hamilton. No, you don't. Never. Yes, I do. No, no. you don't. You yes, really don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, I actually do though, because like, no, you don't. think about it. Think about it. They're not gonna DMCA like... me for the sound effects. Or for hyping no. um, for hyping it. Besides, Lin Manuel no. Miranda, I don't think would. I mean, Disney would would DMCA me for it. But like, Disney would DMCA for everything. But, but that's like, not but like Lin Manuel Miranda it seems like a pretty cool guy, and I don't think he would like actually get into it. You know. No, he wouldn't. But that's not the point. The <laughs> like, sorry, what, what was the point? Is that Hamilton? Even though it mentions slavery and says to be, you know, pro-black in all of this, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't put meat behind its words. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, look at Alexander who grew up in the West Indies and then immigrated to America and then became part of 
the American story. And that's great. But, you know, these were still people that still kind of let slavery just be. They kind of, like, some and of them owned, owned slaves. slaves. Including exactly. Hamilton himself. Exactly. Although, they, supposedly, the slaves he owned were gifted to him by his father-in-law. Supposedly. And... But, you know, well, yeah, it would make still. sense, considering he would be too poor to have them otherwise. Right. But, nonetheless, he still owned slaves. Absolutely. So, like, when it comes to... Like, even if we're just thinking about the first cabinet battle, where Hamilton is like, uh, all dissing uh, Jefferson for being a slaver. Hey, neighbor, your debts are paid because you don't pay for labor. Like, hypocrite. You know? Yeah, a bit. Though they very oh. definitely casually don't mention the prop the the things. Oh yeah. And I understand that Lin Manuel in like earlier drafts, because he's had so many earlier drafts. He's tried right. to approach he's tried to approach how um the Congress tried to like put together a bill to free slaves, but that fell apart because there was just way too much opposition and they just let it be because of that. Like, but, eh, I don't know. Because it's been just left out on the table without really any, any um, acknowledgement of it past, what, um, past that there were slaves that were being slaughtered and carted away and that um, Lawrence wanted to have a full black battalion that would be free and then he died. And then that Thomas Jefferson had slaves. Like that's basically all that it's done in the play when it comes I, to slavery. And honestly, I feel like that was, was like from a, from a writing standpoint, I feel like that was probably the best choice for the purpose he was going for. Because mm. slavery is such an important thing that if he tried to focus too much on both, mm -hmm. he would have ended up doing neither to the extent that they should have, that he wanted to. I understand you know? that. that. That At least that's How... the feeling I get. Anyway. And like... I get that and I understand that. However, I feel like even the mention of it, like something that they're aspiring for, felt like lip service without because there was no um, development of that point in the storyline. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, sorry to cut you off, but it is one till. <laughs> Oh no, it's fine. It's about time. Yeah. Um so um that's going to that's going to be all for this stream. Um remember that the VOD of this stream will be going up on YouTube hopefully no later than tomorrow morning. Um as well as uh, uh, also available on my YouTube is every prior stream as well. Assassin's Creed One, Assassin's Creed Two, Mirror's. Uh, I did a playthrough of Mirror's Edge. I also streamed uh, Phasmophobia uh, with uh, once with Melodor Two Nineteen, um, and those are all available on YouTube. Um, and the links are available in my link tree. Um, if you are actually watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching this. Um, and please like and subscribe. Um, if you come back here tomorrow at 4, I will be streaming again. And uh, do you need more time? Or have you decide decided? Oh, I've decided. You have decided? Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. do we want to do that now or save it? Now. Okay. So, if you come back tomorrow at 4 p.m. U.S. Central Time, you will see me here again playing, hopefully, drum roll. <laughs> a game called Dandara. 
It is mm. a platformer done in pixel style. And it features an Afro-Brazilian woman who existed in real life in Brazil. And she was a freedom fighter. And she freed herself from being a slave. But when they captured her and they were going to put her back into slavery, she killed herself rather dying than going back into slavery. Damn. So, so this video game is based on her. She does capoeira in it. And it's very fantasy eyes, but it's definitely something that's very interesting. So I'm just saying all this. So for uh, when you're playing tomorrow, you'll be like, oh, I totally get this or this, or I wonder where they got this from. So I'm going to post the link of the official website in all the places that I've been posting stuff before. You should be able to get it on Steam. Or actually, I think that's it. <laughs> I don't know if it's, uh, on it's available other, on um... Epic. Epic Games. I okay. have it on Epic. Um, in fact, in that okay, list I then... sent you earlier, it's there. Um, in fact, okay, I have the what's great. called the Trials of Fear edition. Yeah. You better do it. Hey, you better do it. I'm looking it. right at it on, on my Epic Games library. The Trials of Fear so... edition? It says it's an addition. Yeah, I thought it was an addition, not um, a whole sequel. But let me double check it. Yeah, no, they've just added on to it. Yeah, it's it's like the equivalent of um, Game of the Year edition type stuff. So yeah, you Ooh, know, just following picture of in. her. She is so badass looking. Yes. Okay. <laughs> like, like I think I found your new aesthetic, lady. <laughs> like, dang. And by the way, I've been researching, trying to find, you know, games made by black people or about black people. There is a list of games like on a twitter thread mm -hmm. that i was doing some of that earlier that too is, before i came up with before we came up with this idea of having huh. the cha being challenged there's a list of games on a twitter thread um by a man who is a black developer himself named sean alexander allen and he made a whole list of games with Black-led development teams or just straight up made by one Black person or it has voices by Black people featuring Black talent, everything like that. And he's going to be adding on to it throughout the rest of this month. This is an old thread, but he's adding on to it even more. So I just put that in the Discord, also putting it into the stream chat. And y'all should check it out if you're interested in diversifying your game collection. Speaking awesome. of, speaking of, if you ever get the chance after, you should check out this one game that's on the list. It's a dating sim. <laughs> is, it that, is, is it daddy dream? Dream daddy. It is not dream daddy. Because okay. I'm going for, you know, black, blackity well, black, black. Even though well, there is. Well, I mean, I, I don't know anything about Dream Daddy other than it's a dating sim for daddies. <laughs> um, Actually, no, I know a lot about the story of Dream Daddy. I don't know anything about, like, the behind the scenes shit. Womp womp. <laughs> but anyway i'm so sorry i just it's too fun anyway okay so yeah uh what, what was the game that you were saying that should be checked out that's on that list i'm trying to pull it up because i literally just i found okay, it and well, then i put it on my wish list no well we're while not you're... Until, no we're not ending while... until i find it let me get through the rest of my outro though while you're no! trying to find it this is my time. <laughs> Hold 
Hold up. I'm still on Dandara. Well, I'm going to go pee go while you're doing more. that, so I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm going to say terrible things behind your back. Have fun. Aha! I literally just found it. And it's called Validate. It's not fully out yet, but there is a playable demo on Steam right now. I'm going to put in the Steam link into the chat if I can actually get the Steam link. How do I get this link? Heh. <laughs> um, they're also on Twitter. So you can keep up with them if you want to see their progress in making uh, making the game, fully filling it out. And not only is it Black made, the diversity in the game itself is incredible. Not only like Black people and other people of color, but it's also seemingly very queer friendly. And the aesthetic reminds me of Steven Universe, so how can you go wrong? So putting that also into the chat and into the Discord. So okay. yeah. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow I will be back here at 4 p.m. Not playing Tomb Raider. Um, I will be playing Dandara. That was yeah, Dandara. Um, means I need to install that. Yeah. Shouldn't do. Yep. Um, <clears throat> if you already have it. Yeah, at least I already have it. I got it for Christmas, technically. It was one of the games that uh, Epic Games Store uh, released in throughout the month of uh, December. Oh, nice. For free. So you know. For free. But also support amazing. indie artists. Oh, absolutely. Um. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be playing Dundara instead of Tomb Raider. Uh, at 4 p.m. Mm, maybe it was, was this it? week. Maybe it was. It might have been this week because Howie was. Oh, it absolutely was. About... It is, is currently it free week? on Epic Games Store. It's currently free on Epic Games yeah, Store. That... It will be free. Uh, Yvonne, you kind of crashed. I didn't do that. Am I? <laughs> Am I back yet? Nope. No, you didn't. There you are. <laughs> Hi. That was weird. I opened the Epic Game Store and like. Your computer does exploded. not like the Epic Game Store. It really doesn't. It's like, oh, you're opening the Epic Game Store. Fuck you. <laughs> epic Game <laughs> Store is too epic means. for me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so Dandara Trials of Fear Edition will be available for free on the Epic Games Store. Um, it was Yvonne that was in and out, and it was because she opened the Epic Games Store. <laughs> um, the whole stream. Well, that's I. Huh. I got a, I did get a, an FPS drop. Um, so yeah, uh. you. You killed it so bad, Yvonne. <laughs> um, uh, this is what I got. <laughs> anyway, uh, it'll be free until February 4th at 10 a.m. It shouldn't be hiccuping. Everything's... It's not hiccuping for me. I can hear it in my on my phone. Um, I'm just wondering if there's something with our internet on this end. Uh, since, you know, snowstorm and all. Snowstorm plus Avon opening Epic Game Store. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Queen also says that it's a snowstorm in New Jersey and that it's not hiccuping for her. So she's over there flexing her internet strength. Um. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 
But yeah, so Dandara yeah, tomorrow. Dandara! Dandara tomorrow, uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Um, it will be a game I have never played before, which is actually a new thing on the, well, technically a new thing on this stream. Because I have played Phasmophobia, but, and I hadn't played it before, but I was very familiar with it. I'm going into this one blind. Other than the fact that it's a thing that exists. I'm going into it blind other than what Ivan has said and th that it's a thing that exists. Which is new. Alright, so, I'll try to make the rest of this... Um... We'll make the rest of this go quickly. Um, you should follow me on my socials. As Yvonne has been saying, I have a link tree available. Um, that it is currently available in the Twitch chat. Um, and down below if you're on YouTube and all of that stuff. Um, you, in fact, you should also join me on Discord. Um, because, you know, we're uh, me and my friends are there and we're all nerds and we're awesome. Um, and that includes this nerd right here, who, who, right here. You can chill. No. Chill. I actually just noticed, I am so white, that I could barely, like, <laughs> like, I, I. Oh, for God's sake, man. I am so white. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh man. Gosh. <laughs> anyway this amazing person right over here um is uh, and you should definitely check her out as well speaking of you should follow the people who are currently available who are currently listed on screen they are not the normal people that i list they're, but they're even more awesome than the normal people i list um <laughs> so I'm not I'm because of time and the fact that it's already 612 um I'm not going to go too as deep into things as I normally do. Yvonne, do you have any quick um promotions you want to do for your stream? Um I'm going back to my normal schedule this month, but because it's me and because it's my stream, we're probably going to be talking a lot about uh, Black issues, Black Lives Matter, Black History Month, et cetera, et cetera. So Fridays, um, Fridays we're doing Legend of Zelda, Sundays we're doing Animal Crossing, and then maybe Sunday evening we'll be doing Stardew Valley because awesome. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, speaking of Sunday, um, sorry to cut you off there. Um, mm -hmm. I totally forgot. So some of you may remember a couple weeks, a week or so ago, I was in involved in a D and D uh, one shot stream um, with a bunch of people who I only really vaguely knew of through TikTok, and that's about it. Um, <laughs> the uh, it was so much fun. We all decided we're gonna make it a, that we're doing it as a regular campaign rather than just a one shot. So it's not going to be a weekly thing. Um, it will be like a monthly or so um, thing. And we're talking about having it be either Sunday night, this Sunday, as in the 7th night, or the 14th. We're not sure which. We're still deciding. I will post updates as available. So if you're not watching her... You should watch me be an absolute dork. So. I love you mugging for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. Uh, her Back to her normal streaming times. Zelda Friday. Other stuff Sunday. She's awesome. All of these people are awesome. Um, I do not unfortunately no a schedule for them otherwise i would promo it um but also i'm trying to make this quick because time is a thing that is burning um <laughs> anyway oh. before i get too deep into that oh uh wanted to ask do you mind if we do a raid oh like i meant to ask raid. about that do you have i don't know how to do a raid i was going to ask if we should do a raid I am fine doing a raid. Um, do you have someone in mind? The way that you mind? can do a raid. Yes, I do. The way okay. you can do a raid is just put in the chat 
slash, I think it's the forward slash, slash raid, and then the username that you want to raid, as long as they're online. And I do suggest for today, Sarcastic Gaming, who ah. we know from college. And he's playing Destiny 2 right now. He's real funny. He's real chill. And I think that it'd be cool. And I think that it'd be cool. And Oh, there's going to be some feedback, probably. Yeah, I opened Twitch and forgot to mute it. So yeah, there's definitely going to be a little bit of echo from Yvonne saying that. But it's fine. I think um, that it'd be cool. It'd be cool. It'd be cool. Basically. Be cool. <laughs> basically. Um, that's this. Yeah, you you messaged me his name in in on Facebook earlier. Let me find him. Um, because I need to follow him, because I have not done that. But yes. Um. Also, let me make. Do me a favor, Vamp. I need to check to actually make sure that I have raids enabled on my. <laughs> oh wait, what? I may not have them enabled. I don't know. I don't know either, my dear. Um, I, I need to check my settings. And so that's what I'm doing. So while I'm doing that, would you mind um, vamping for a little bit? Okay. Uh, I was going to think if I could give a rift on your normal closer. Oh, go for it. Okay. Uh, th things this I have is... not covered yet. Things I have not covered yet. Um, actually, we've covered everything except for my usual soapbox. Yes. So, this is very important, guys. Like, you all need to listen right now. You are important. You are special. You are loved. You are a human being, and you matter, and you're valid in this world. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. If you're ever like feeling down about like life and the world and yourself and you're depressed, uh, there are resources that you can reach out to. And also uh, this part usually is not in his uh, thing, but I've been in that kind of uh, funk before. A lot of us that we know we have as well if you need to reach out to like a person that you're like oh that's an actual human person made out of flesh then uh hit us up or hit me up i'm not gonna dump anything on crimson hit me up and i'd be happy to talk look. to you <laughs> <laughs> um black lives matter forever uh, queer lives matter. People are people, whether they're poor, whether they are disabled, whether they have chronic disabilities, uh, if they're neurodivergent, treat people as people, uh, you know, like do onto others as you would have them to do onto you. Uh, I know that we're not a religious channel. <laughs> But that goes beyond religion. Just, we're all people here, and we should all treat each other with kindness and respect. And also, we should extend that to our government and its system, and we should think about the other people in our country that are going through hard times and think, what would I wish somebody could do for me if I was in that situation? So uh, not only just vote with uh, morals that were ingrained in you or with like the pure intellectual side, but think about the people that this is going to affect. And that goes for any country you're in. Of course, I'm speaking as an American, but this goes for any country you are in. If you have the ability to participate in your government, that is a privilege and it should not be taken for granted. And I think that's it. Did I leave anything out? Um, 
only things I would add is I you probably may have mentioned this already, but I have crisis, crisis resources available in my link tree if you need them. My link tree is on screen right here down at the bottom. Um, there are links to domestic abuse, sexual assault, suicide prevention, and substance abuse. Um, if if they're, these ones specifically, as far as I'm aware, are only available in the United States. If they're not available in your country, Google is your friend. But please, 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 if you need help, ask for it. Um, as she said. Um, she volunteered herself because um, she said she's had some experience with some things. Um, I can give you an ear, maybe some advice, but... I have not lived and I've had a very lucky life. Let's put it that way. Um, and so I'm probably, you if probably you want to go to her. To a queer me. black woman or one of those three. Uh, hi. <laughs> or some combination of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, the only other, only other, other thing is just to summarize what you have already said, um, remember to wear a mask first off. Make sure you guys wear a mask, stay safe. Um, even if you have the vaccine, please stay social distance and wear a mask because there's still so much we don't know about the virus. Um, and there are mu mutations of it happening and it's terrifying and bad stuff continues to happen, but that's okay. Um, we can make it, we just have to be smart about how we handle it, um, as opposed to this entire last year, which still gives me a headache. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, but yeah, to summarize what Ivana said, have empathy, be kind, love yourself and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace.